Hello and welcome to the Damp Show with me, Damp Sam, and him, Dry Gav. Hello. Five things I've learnt from making millions at Damp Proofing. Money bags. Can I have the first question, please? There you go, Bob. <laughs> so, uh, why Damp Proofing in particular, Sam? So, while ever it rains, there'll always be damp issues. And, and, and I, 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 I mentioned this in a lot of podcasts, um, and it's, it's kind of a... Um, What's the thing I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? A, a, not a theme. It's a, like a mantra for me. So there's not all damp is rising. Yeah. And while ever it rains, there'll always be work for uh, people working uh, are in you, are you preservation like, industry. Are you like Undertaker in Western films? <laughs> I thought you were going to say wrestling. No. You know, in Western films. Is that because I'm a six footer? So generally in Western <laughs> films, there's saloon, isn't there? There's all its saloon. If it's an abandoned town that's saloon up and, and there's Undertakers. Yeah. And Clint always, Eastwood walks he's in. He's always got work. Measures people up them to you as he comes in. So. Yeah. So when it's raining, when it's raining. Which it is today. Um, there's... It, this is no coincidence that you know rain fall the, the rain falling is my um, alarm so i've got my alarm on my ipad it's like a spidey sense so it starts off because it, it, it's really relaxing so it's, it starts off um and it's just like a shh, and yeah. it wakes me up gently but like i said before when it rains that sound is like pound coins at the floor for me yeah so I, I, it's it's like waking up to um you're like it's like a positive thing for the day. Yeah. And if it is raining as well, in on extension that I've got, that sound, I just I just think it's just a, a relaxing, calm sound because it's I just simple. know that <laughs> that there's, that it's making damp issues and, and if it uh, and if it's torrential, even even better for me. Um and, and, and this is another thing. So bricklayers, anybody that works outside, when it when it's hammering it down can't work so if you're in preservation industry not only is it creating more work for you you work a lot of time inside so there's a there's a continuum is it continuum or continue you've got you've got work continuously uh for 12 12, 12 months so you've heard, heard how much money you're making sam pound coins falling from ceiling uh what steps should you should you take to become a, a qualified damp proofer well, you hear me go on about um, damp proofers that are that are, are qualified, damp proofers that are not qualified, and um, and one of the things that I I keep saying is that plasterers uh, are really suited for preservation work because something like sixty percent of um, job is plastering if if you if you do it really plastering after after damp work. And that rest of things can be done by a, a plasterer. So drilling, injecting, they can do. Most people can put scuttings on, can take a radiator off. The, the, these are things that's like you don't have to be qualified to do. You, you can do. I mean, I try not to do these things. I, if, if we do jobs, I'll, I'll bring them in because um, I just think everybody to their own. But I do know a lot of damp proofers that are, that are doing it and they'll, they'll do it all these jobs are sense to, to make more money. Yeah. Um, and, and it's not just to make more money. It's they're not having to schedule people to come in and do it. They can, they can get the replastering done and get straight on with the skirting. They're not waiting to book, book someone in. So, um, so this is, this is one of the things that plas plasters are ideally suited for. And all they have to do is, is get qualified. So you get in contact with PCA and it's, a two-day course, which is Damp and Timber um, Technicians course. Oh, it's PCA. Property Care Association, um, which uh, the um, the body that um, that we are all affiliated to, that's recognised, it's, it's, it's the main recognised body for waterproofing, damp proofing, Japanese what knotweed, invasive species, um, and, what's that, and ventilation as well. So all things that's that's connected to um, to damp issues in your in your property, and they've got their own facility where you can go down and everything's set up and they can show you exactly how to do preservation works. And once you've got this qualification, you're um, you're set up really. Then you can 
you don't first le- uh, run a ladder to get into the pre- preservation industry fully. And then if you wanted to go and take your surveying exams like I did, um, it's just a question of going and and going on courses and then revising and passing your exams. And a guy contacted me the other day. Uh, he's failed his, he's, a, he's, he's already a surveyor but he wanted to be a damp surveyor. So he wanted this qualification and um, he contacted me asking me if he could come when we do a timber, any timber treatments like, so he, because he failed his, um, his timber oral exam, which is your identification. And, um, and I said, yeah, no problem. Like when next time I'm, I'm doing it, you can come, um, any questions you can ask me and that. And then I remembered, and I, so I sent him a message and I said, oh, by the way, you know, I, I failed um, a couple of my parts to my uh, exams. And, and he, was, he was just very grateful that I'd said it because I think you were thinking it was just a really hard exam, but it isn't. It's just getting your, um, it, it's getting your revision right. Yeah. Finding out how you retain information and just knuckling down on that. I mean, what I did, I just, every day, I just, put all my work out on, on the table, which were in um, conservatory at the time. And when I got up in the morning, when I had my breakfast re- revised, when I got back in from work, I took uh, like an hour or whatever revising. And then before I went to bed, I'd probably do a 20 minutes. And that's how I did it. So all the time. This were after I'd, fa- <laughs> this were after I'd failed because I had to find out how I um, retained information and which what best way. And once I found that out, um, you know, passed with flying colours and never looked back since. Rather than just going the whole hog straight away, which is the most effective way to start um, in the preservation damp proofing industry. Right, so... Is there a single thing you can focus on or... Yeah. So Okay, glasses are on. Glasses are on, just to make me look more boffin-like. Um, right, so... If a... This, this is kind of aimed at plasterers, so in my opinion, the easiest system to install as a as a damp proofer... Sales pitch coming. ...is called... Well, it isn't really a sales pitch. I've got no to do with it. Um, Express damp proofing system. So you've got different types of replastering after um, you've installed a, a, a DPC. So you've got a wet... Um, systems which are your renders your sand and cement renders um, your lightweight um, plasters which is like your render lights your lime lights um, there's, there's a few different companies got their own uh, dry zone plaster um, I can't think of what Wickhamalls is called but there's a lot of manufacturers have got their own replastering systems, lightweight ones. Basically, you just put water in a bucket, bucket, and then just mix it up. Um, so, the, um, the 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 difference is with it with these wet plastering systems. If you, you you've got to, well, we we safeguard when you don't have to wet wall down. But a lot of them you have to damp wall down, so you're splashing water all all over. Um, there's plug sockets and stuff so you've to, you take plug socket pull it off at wall you, if you put in water around there it's just it as good as you are you can still short it out I, I, i've done it loads of times i used to I used to hate it do you know what i mean going around the plug socket we used to tape tape around it yeah stop plaster going into them but it's it's still stressful it's still stressful so <laughs> the express damp system it's just a dry system so you put a um, a salt neutralizer is, is is a liquid, but it's again this is this is like uh, dry zone um, dry zone uh, storm dry. It's a it's a cream and it's just easy to apply, even round plug sockets. You just you know you just brush it onto masonry. There's no dripping, um, no it gets wet through. When that's dry, so half an hour to a, an hour. You can just install this system, which is basically a, a, a plasterboard, and you, you fix it with um, a, a, an adhesive called Dry Grip. And I added 
insta stick to it just just for speed of the system and uh and plasters are used to cutting plasterboard who can't use a an applicator you just put a dot on from applicator that comes in a, a um a sausage this um this dry dry grip easy to get in and out uh, can can be used for patching can be used for full walls once a plasters use this system and gets used to it it'll start in, it'll start doing you know lots of different um lots of different jobs with it so um rather than if it, say if you if you've got like a chasers to patch you, know, you can just cut a thin bit of plasterboard you don't have to mix any wet stuff up thin bit of plasterboard put your adhesive on stick it in and then more or less skim it kind of straight away yeah if you wanted um brilliant system so this this is starting block the the express damp proof system find out what it is have a look at it and that is how you can get into damp damp industry by using this system anybody can drill and inject bottom of a wall go on your two day course find out how dampness affects walls which we still show you and um and then you're straight into it. You can, you know, there's there's a bit more to it is, is getting your work and identifying damp and stuff like that. But that comes with, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That that comes with experience. So more you do it, more, more it'll work. So a final question. <clears throat> and again, we've touched on this already, but you're going to elaborate. So why, why would you make the change, Sam? From trade to kind of full time um, to pres preservation yeah. um I, one simple thing is you can earn three to four times more money um per week than you would if you were just doing a a, a, a standard trade so this is based on it being your company and you you, you know you do you doing the work as like a bespoke so you go and look at job and then you go and fit the job and then just get trades in that you don't need the amount of amount of money that you'd that you'd get as opposed to if you are just doing uh you know just plastering for a for a company or plastering for yourself is you're looking at like three or four times more per week so um again some for for instances um it's a lot of works based around six fifty to seven fifty a day for one guy and a, a labourer in a van, and then you can add your materials on top. So it's the easiest way to work out how much to charge. Um, look at job, how long it's going to take you, how much materials are going to thing. So it's going to take you three days. Times it by six fifty, seven fifty if you want. If it's going to be if if degree of difficulty at jobs is going to be be harder. What I mean by that, with degree of difficulty of job. If you go to an house and it's totally empty, nobody's living in it, all carpets are out, that's going to be easier than somebody who's got family in. There's a cat and dog and everything in. Right, so, so that's end of this week's podcast. Um, if you want to get in touch, um, go onto our Facebook page and search for why does my property have damp, damp, Sam? And if you've got any uh, damp issues, send us some pictures and a description and we'll point you in the right direction. And uh, anybody wants any surveys done, get in touch as well. Damp, uh, yeah, damp Sam at alldrydampproofing.com. And if you've enjoyed today's show, yeah, if drop us a sub. Yeah, um, yeah. If you've enjoyed today's show, show put some um, comments in the what's what is it comments not comments box review yeah so write us a review write, write a review and uh, if you've got any questions to ask put them in there and we'll try and figure out how to answer <laughs> how, to, how to see them how to see them i don't know i don't know if there's any uh we're definitely anything. doing portrait tiktok next time you can't see comments right well we'll have a look at them and i'll okay. probably do another one so right, thanks for bearing with us yeah bye bye take it easy bye <laughs>